G'day guys, on this episode of our SEMA series, we're talking to Dan Zinnerman about some Jeep concepts. Hi guys, we're here at Jeep stand at SEMA 2022. Dan Zinnerman, we have Serge here. Do you wanna run us through? I mean, this was an awesome, build from a couple of years ago but I mean you guys have taken it apart and absolutely rewritten it yeah yeah so um, we started out with a CJ 66 um, so it was a, a great platform for us to use uh, Jeep's messaging is we want to be the leading SUV maker that has um, electrification so what better way to do it than to start with this uh, CJ uh, so we've got a uh, 400 kilowatt uh, motor uh, that's in here and obviously Jeep wants to be an open-air experience right so we've got these really cool Viper seats uh, that are finished out in black Sedoso cloth and houndstooth. Kind yeah. of a nice vintage feel, custom bikini top. And inside you'll notice there's, there's no more stick. It's, uh, it's like an eight-speed transmission, rotary shifter. And then you've got a battery charge indicator on the dash to show you how much charge you actually have in the vehicle uh, left for range. So the idea behind this is uh, extended range for, for trail rides. So you say rot rotary shifter? Yeah, so yeah. What so what's that out of? So um, uh, that rotary shifter right there is out of a Durango from like 2014. 14, yep. Yeah, okay. just a nice interface, base, a different yeah, kind of interface, base, right? To show the electrification. Yeah, it's, yeah. And I mean, there's that. Obviously, as you said, you've got you've um, stuck to keeping it very simple. Yeah. With as far as displays and lights, no frills. A bit of, no frills. Big battery pack in the back. Huge, absolutely, yeah. So, what's the weight on that? Um, I don't have the actual weight, weight on the battery. Um, but, I mean, it's sitting pretty, pretty. Level, yeah, yeah. Pretty so square. it, it uh, you know, obviously we've got uh, the lift on it and everything, um, but it's, uh, I, I believe it's 24 ion batteries that are in there. Um, but um, you know, the, the the really cool thing about this is is the messaging for Surge. And the fact that we're looking at this is really teasing the idea of uh, an e-crate motor, right? Yep. Much like what we did with the 392 Twos. and all the other motors, is yep. what does a customer-facing kit really look like, right? To to really change the the perception of, of electrification and you know that uh, open-air experience for Jeep. So how do we charge this thing? So on the other side of the vehicle, if we walk over here. We've got a cool flu, uh, flipper door here that actually has uh, the charge port. So it's kind of a nod to you know the fuel filler of uh, days in the past. You just you know pull up and plug her in. And old style EV badging sort of look look a little bit traditional. Yeah. Same period of the year, the sort of bit of a nod to the. Um... Exactly. I mean, you you get it right. You see these things. It's a it's a nod to you know our badging in the past. Uh, just a, a tip of the cards to, to show uh, the EV, the electrification. Um, obviously, you look uh, at this view here. This is kind of the, the stunner view, right? So you're looking across the, the surge badge, the EV on the side, and then the, the surge motor, right? So this is our scalable 400-volt um, uh, motor. Uh, it's made it to the, the transmission. So it's just showcasing what this interface could look like and, you know, custom brackets and everything. So it's a really Play. neat statement. Yeah. You know, we've seen it a lot in a lot of a lot of the electro mods that are here, um, and so we wanted to to see what this would look like. So yeah, I mean, you got the surge on the on the engine like you normally would yeah. on a yeah. on a muscle car. I mean, you've got obviously a, a bit of a Hemi heritage and yeah. So all right, um, we'll have a look at some of the other. Sure. So we'll absolutely. Go and have a look at uh, the birdcage. Sure. So this is a bird cage concept. Yep. So um, yeah, tell us what. So uh, Jeep bird cage, we designed this for uh, Easter Jeep Safari this past year. Um, what you're looking at here is we call it the bird cage affectionately because it's got no windshield and it's got the the wrap, uh, rack basket on there and then uh, some ancillary cages to to hit the rotor packs. So it, we just kind of joked around and said, hey, this will be the bird cage. So um, this is a very uh, custom statement. Um, so we it, finished the color in eagle brown, appropriately, yep. right? Jeep eagle, eagle brown. Yep. Little, yeah, little no, homage I get there, that. Yes, right? yes, definitely. So when you remove the windshield, no windshield wipers. Uh, we have windshield wiper plugs. We have a cowl panel plug in there. 
And you'll notice there's a, an IP accessory rail uh, across the, the, the dash there. Yeah. And what it is is a place for you to mount like a, a GoPro, a camera, or you know your phone uh, for trail rides. So we got these really awesome Tyree lights that run across the top. Um, there's like 4,500 lumens each. I mean, it's ridiculous light. So when you're when you're cruising around in the desert or you know out in the outback, yeah, you can see everything. Um, we've got our half door system on there, and uh, when you pop open the interior, the really cool thing is it's, it's finished in tobacco and uh, cocoa uh, leather, relicate leather, and we've got this this awesome um, vinyl floor. So it makes cleanup really easy for when you're in the desert. Um, there are some cool little Easter eggs in here. I'll have to let you guys hunt them down. I'll show you one in the back, and then uh, okay. we can kind of go from there. The really cool thing about uh, um, the bird cages, we're teasing innovative concepts, right? We listen to our customers, we watch how people use their vehicles, right? We've seen a lot of people do steel flat fender flares. Ours has a factory DRL in this concept, yes. and our own unique liners that are branded JPP. Yeah, I, I was just looking at the badging just here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so um, the other really cool touch is with our lift kit, um, we, we're showing um, these concept uh, tail lamp guards. And then in the back, we've got this really unique feature. We looked at how people use their vehicles, and a lot of times people need secure storage when their top is down, right? So because this can't really have a top, we created this Atta trunk system. So the Atta trunk system is a hydraulic operated um, uh, deck lid, basically, and it provides secure storage. It's big enough to put a Yeti cooler in there. You've got grocery bag hooks on the, uh, on the bottom, and then you've got basically tie downs for putting additional gear for trail rides. So the idea here is that it's lockable storage for when you walk away from your vehicle, you can put anything in it. Yeah. So um, we're really interested to in see what people think of that concept. No, I love that concept. I mean, I think that's definitely in the back home. Yeah. Very There's cool. A, a lot of guys. And, and the fact that, I mean, you can have something secure even with your soft top still on. You've got Absolutely. it secure. So people aren't going to just cut your window open and try and grab something because it's out of sight. Right, right. And and the cool thing is, is when you open the rear door, you know, a lot of times you, you look at some of these systems, um, people can get in there, but this yeah. is this is secure. So this system theoretically would work for PHEV and non-PHEV models as well. Um, nice little Easter egg for you. So we put these birdcage stickers throughout the vehicle. <laughs> so. It's like a good it. challenge to find them. And then um, on the passenger side mirror, I think there's a QR code that takes you to a drop page that shows you all the accessories that we actually have on the vehicle. I mean, aside from some other custom touches, you know, we shortened up the front end pretty significantly. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can get off the shelf. And I mean, uh, your rack, I mean, your, your drop down shelf there, and the wheelies on it. I'm, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. So no, there's, there's definitely a lot here to sort of unfold. 